Are you a golfer that likes to work the ball left to right or right to left? Well, blades make it so much easier to do so. We are going to be comparing six of the most popular blades out on the market currently. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell and Danny Farrell. We're both master club fitters at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're gonna be doing a ultimate blade comparison. Blades. Mm -hmm. Blades, they're hard to hit. <laughs> they are, they're not for everybody. But when you hit in the sweet spot, they feel incredibly good. Absolutely. So a couple things we're gonna be looking at. We've got a new addition to the family again, the Mizuno Pro 221. So first we're gonna compare the 921 Tour to the 221 and then we'll compare um, uh, Callaway Apex MB, Ping I-59, Titleist T-100, as well as um, the TaylorMade MB. Perfect. So. Yeah, so these clubs all have the exact same loft on them, 34 degrees of loft. So they're not going to go really far. They're probably going to spin a little bit more. Right. As I mentioned, workability. Workability is what you get out of these irons. Not only are they easy to work, they look great to look down at. Right but the forgiveness level is not going to be quite there. So <laughs> there's a lot of tour players that don't even use blades. Some These are clubs for the best ball strikers in the world. Right. But if you want the purest feel in the game of golf, these are what you're looking at. Absolutely. So let's lead out. We're going to probably hit about five shots with each. Again, we'll lead out with the 921 Tour. It's going to be interesting as well because, yes, they all have the same loft, but center gravity is all vary a little bit. Sole designs all vary a little bit as well. So we'll get to see uh, kind of how we do contact wise and how they do on those miss hits. We know we're going to see some. Right. And then we're going to be testing today with the Titleist RCT Golf Ball, the Pro V1X yep. and the Project X LZ 6.5 Golf Shaft, standard length uh, or the standard lies. So this would be a great comparison. Let's do it. Okay. So we're going to start out with the Mizuno 921 Tour. Again, we're going to go head to head from the 921 Tour the latest from Mizuno, the Mizuno Pro 221. So let's start out with uh, 921 Tour here. Perfect. That was a good swing. That felt so pure. Just can't turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So that, that shot felt really pure. Mizuno was known for feeling really pure off, off the face. Right. Looking down at it, this isn't, definitely isn't the smallest blade that I've had. It's definitely got a little bit of forgiveness behind it. You were talking about sole design. Yeah. It's still a little bit down there. Yeah. So we're going to hit a couple more as well, but you know, it's going to be interesting to test feel versus feel, you know, going from Mizuno, who's known for it, to some of the other models as well. But let's see a few more. We're off to a great start. Okay, so talk to me about kind of the first run here with the 921 Tour. Very consistent. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the plus or minus number on that spin and it's under 100. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be hard to beat. Very right. consistent, feels very soft off the face. Really good feel. Um, I wasn't able to turn it over okay. and that was frustrating me. Um, more, a little more upright line angle would be better off. So right. people that are interested in Mizuno, just be, be aware that it's because you maybe fit into two degrees upright or flat or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Just know that the standard specs of Mizuno is a little bit flatter than other manufacturers. Right, absolutely. So we're going to keep that lie angle going forward into the Mizuno Pro 221. Okay. So from last year, the t uh, 2022 product here. This one already, went from what I'm seeing, it's a lot shinier. Mm -hmm. Definitely a shinier look. Well, this has got more of a, a duller finish to it. Well, the Mizuno Pro 920 sorry, 221 is a little sleeker, but very shiny, looking down at it. Okay, okay. Well, that has some serious swing speed to it. I don't feel like I'm swinging any faster. That felt good. Just gonna turn it over. Hmm. So right off the bat, no, two swings in, 
I'm seeing less offset with this particular model. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, the top line is a little bit thinner okay. than the JPX Tour. Okay. Um, and I would say it's probably not as forgiving as the JPX Tour would be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's hit a few more, see if that continues. Okay, so you brought up the forgiveness level. You know, thinking the 921 Tour was probably a little bit more forgiving than the Mizuno 221. Talk to me about anything else that came out there when swinging that one. Well, feel is really hard to like diagnose between the two of them because yeah. they both felt very soft off the face. Right. I don't, I'd say they're just both as soft as each other, honestly. Okay. But visually looking down at it, this is definitely a smaller visual to look down at. Okay. Talked about the offset a little bit. This basically has none. Okay. Looking down at it, uh, which is, you know, for those better players that you know, don't don't need the offset, mm -hmm. it's a it's a good visual. But very very clean looking club. I like it a lot. I probably just couldn't play these all the way from my bag. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Well, let's see what Trackman has to say. What we learned there. So club speed just a little bit faster. We saw that with the Pro 221. Ball speed was a little bit lower. Uh, launch angle, marginally higher, but breaking into the 20s. Yep. Okay. Spin, a uh, little bit more with the 921 Tour, probably because we were leaving that face angle open a little bit more. With the Pro, you were right. able to actually kind of turn that over a little bit. There was a couple that I did actually get able to, were able to draw with this club. Right. Not many, but there was oh. maybe one or two swings. Yeah, which is yeah. probably why we saw a little bit more variation in the spin as well. Yep. Uh, but overall, same exact carry, 177.2. So great numbers across the board there. Um, attack angle, pretty much down one. So we'll keep an eye on that. Height, 121, 122. Um, again, since loft is the same, dynamic loft should be pretty similar as well, 24.7, 24.5. Yep. So basically, very, very similar numbers between them. But you, know, you brought up the points visually, less offset on the 221. So we were able to turn that over a little bit more but you liked the forgiveness level a little bit more with the 921 Tour. Right, so yeah, I just, I'm just looking at the plus or minus number on yep. like the spin, for yep. example. Yep. Um, and also just notice that ball speed was a little higher with the JPX 921 Tour, mm -hmm. 126, um, even though I was swinging a little bit less. Right. So that efficiency number was just a little bit higher overall. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So great numbers kind of to start this video off with. Now we're gonna go through the other manufacturers as well. So we're gonna jump into the Callaway Apex MB. Okay. See how this differs. Three more of those. So two shots in, this thing looks like a butter knife. It's the smallest of the three so far. Okay, heel to toe and yeah, probably and the top line. Lift. It's it's thin. Yeah. It's definitely pretty small. Is it? Intimidating yet? Yes, it's intimidating. <laughs> okay. We've reached that point. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I, I used to play the Callaway Apex MB, the model before these. They okay. were a little bit larger. Okay. And I play the TCBs now. Gotcha. So I went away from a smaller, just, I don't have the time to practice all the time. No, it this thing's great, so. but yeah. I just like that little extra bit of forgiveness to it. Yeah, yeah. as I mean, we all should. Number one golfer in the world plays. TCB irons right. and you know, he doesn't play the full on blades. Right. What's, what's that can have to say about uh -huh. the importance of playing blades? But yeah. if, you're, if you're a purist and you love to play bait, lays into the feel, yep. workability, yeah. But, I mean, those two swings, two swings are great. Let's see if I can follow it up from those three. It. Let's do it. Another good swing. Okay. So good stuff here. You know, we've made a lie angle change. We'll lead out with that yep. from 61.5 with Mizuno, back a little more upright, more something you're used to playing. Yep. So we're seeing that ball turn over just a little bit more. But again, we're stepping away from Mizuno, so I would expect feel might have changed a little bit here too. Talk to me about that. Yeah, it's still soft. Uh, it's, I think just Mizuno, I think they just, they just win yeah. on that soft forge feel overall. Yeah. Um, still feels incredibly good. And I think there was like three or four swings that I felt were really nice swings, nice and straight, but you'll notice that dispersion pattern was just a little bit larger. Right. Now, we're talking here, it's, this is pretty small sample size, yeah. 
but I just had a little harder time on my miss hits with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So would you say that that's the least forgiving that we've tried today? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely the least forgiving. Okay. Right now, JPX 921 Tour would be the most forgiving, okay. largest largest model. Okay. Mizuno uh, 221 Pro mm -hmm. would be in the middle, and this would be the smallest gotcha. model so far. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what we learned kind of from TrackMan going through the numbers here. Again, nice work on the club head speed. We're kind of right in the middle here with the Apex MB. Ball speed wise, pretty similar, kind of right in between. Um, launch angle is actually the lowest with this, which is interesting. Spin, very consistent, pretty much very similar. Again, we signed out 921 Tour, the face was open a little bit, which added a little bit of spin. Yep. But we also saw a little bit more distance, even at a little bit slower uh, overall ball speed compared to the Tour because of that spin factor in there as well. Right, and then looking at that lower launch angle, it's just giving me just a couple extra yards because it's right. just launching just a little bit on the, on the lower side of overall. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. But, but yeah, dynamic loft was one degree less, so that's probably going to relate to a little of that launch angle there too. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, excellent, excellent numbers across the board with those. Yeah, really, really good. So we're going to give you one more blade until we start to work a little bit more forgiving. For All you. right. So we're going to go ahead and tailor made P7MB here. Look at that the consistency on that spin. Right. All right. Okay, so before we get into the numbers, talk to me about looks with this one. Yeah, so it's not as small as the Callaway Apex MB was. Okay. Um, it's probably a very similar size to the Mizuno Pro 221. Okay. Looking down at it. Okay. Um, it's kind of got this interesting look to it with regards to, it's shiny, but on the face, it's not as shiny. Mm, okay. Um, I feel like this was the most consistent club that I've hit so far. And I, I say that because as I was hitting, I was looking at that spin rate. Yeah. It was higher. It was right. just under 6,000 RPMs of spin. Yep. But the plus or minus num number there was less than half compared to any other club that I've hit so far. Let's see. Yep. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 48 RPMs is different. Wow. So you brought up a point, you know, ball speed was the lowest. So far, yeah, it wasn't that. it wasn't one of the the highest ball speed numbers, mm -hmm. but this is a reason why tour players they play a blade. Yeah, is they want consistency. They're not always about distance. Right. right. They care more about hitting that number every single time. Yep. So with yep. this club here, I was hitting that number, the spin number, and the carry number pretty much every single time. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. you'd probably be okay with giving up two, maybe four yards in carry to know. I'm going to hit 175 every single time. Right. I think yeah. you, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little less I'm used to. I'm normally a 178 to 180 carry guy. Right. But, um, yeah, it was very, very consistent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, this could be another talking point with this iron where the center of gravity might be a little bit lower than others, too, because we are seeing the spin come up. We are seeing um, kind of the launch angle work our way back up a little bit as well, but we're also seeing the ball speed drop. So that could you know, be the first time where center of gravity might be taking hold here with this iron. Right, and I feel like I was flushing these shots. Right. And I was just a little surprised at the ball speed, but just a yeah. touch on the, on the lower side. Yeah, so I mean, if we yeah. break down the, the Mizuno Pro 221 versus P7MB, for example, we have less dynamic loft at impact with um, the MB, but we have 300 more RPMs on average. Right, and the attack angle is the exact same. I'm correct. 0 0.1, so right. you, you, can't, you can't say it's, it's different there. Right. Um, so yes, there you go. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, and we saw a little, you know, that ball is able to turn over a little bit more. Tiny so. little drawer, consistent every single time. And that's right. what the best players in the world are looking for out of their irons. Absolutely, yep. Yep. absolutely. So that's performed really well. Felt awesome. good, felt excellent. Yeah. Felt like I did the same thing every single time with it, so that was a win. You sure did. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what Peng has to say.
the I-59, another kind of newer one to the channel for us. Okay. I'm interested to see if I can get the spin higher than 6,000 with this. Okay. Because I feel like that was pretty high spin for me, for, a, for a hitting down on a one degree. Right. Yeah. That's very, very good to see. So this one might look a little bit different to you. Does it? It does, yeah. I okay. mean, I've said this before in previous videos, it's got more grooves on it. Mm -hmm. They're closer together, and yeah. there's more grooves from the bottom to the top. Okay. Yeah, so that's one thing I'm noticing with this, this okay. club head. And looking down at it, and visually, now I've hit it a couple of times yet, but every time I come back to it after hitting a more traditional look, it's a hard adjustment for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it also has kind of the scoring line, that bottom groove that's white. Correct. Right, it That's is. It's probably the first time you've seen that as well. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I get what they're trying to do. It's just something different to look down at. Okay. And I think, you know, 10, 15 swings in, I'd probably get used to it. Mm -hmm. But there's a, lot, there's a lot of groups and a lot of stuff going on in the face. Okay, yeah. okay. Let's see a couple more from you. Good stuff. I mean, minus the looks that I know differed a little bit. Talk to me about sound. I noticed it was a little bit clickier coming off the face from some of the predecessors here. It's a little louder. Yeah. Now it is, it is a forged club. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of ping irons are not forged. Some of them are cast, but it is definitely forged. Right. It's not as soft as Mizuno, but it falls right in the middle okay. compared to all the others. Okay. Um, there were a couple of highs with this club. Mm -hmm. uh, highest spin rate shot that I've hit today. Yeah. I think it was like 61 right. in the high 6100s. Okay. And the highest shots that I've hit today. Mm -hmm. Last one was 127 feet, I believe, and I think the shot before that was about 126. Okay. So I noticed that it was flying a little higher for me. Okay. And then when I hit it really well, it spun a little bit more too. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So let's just look at TrackMan to confirm all that. So we're kind of right in the middle here with the I 59. Again, Club head speed is the same. Ball speed came up a little bit from the P7MB from 124.5, almost a full mile an hour. Um, launch angle, you brought up the point, it's flying a little bit higher. Well, it's starting a little bit higher too Yeah. at 19.9. Spin, pretty similar to the P7MB there and similar to 921 Tour at 5,800. Um, you talked about the overall height. Yeah. They were spot on, 121. 121. So one of the, or some of the higher flying options yep. so yeah, far. Yeah, flew a little higher. And as I mentioned, there was just a couple of shops there that, that I hit. I just noticed yeah. I saw 127 feet in the air for one of them. Right. And I noticed the spin rate, 50, sorry, 61. It was in the high 61 61 change, yeah. yeah. Which is yeah. really, really good for you with being a relatively neutral guy going into the golf right. ball. Right. And all these are going to help me spin the ball more than a club that's got less loft on it. Yes. But my attack angle being right now at negative one is not mm -hmm. ideal to generate more spin. Right, right. But, yeah. you know, forgiveness wise, I think we've made a little step towards forgiveness right. with this one. For, for sure. sure. Yeah, it would be up there. If we go, I'd say it's up there, say JPX 921 Tour with mm. regards to forgiveness. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, was, it was forgiving for sure. And I think you even just looking at the dispersion pattern here, you can see I had four very close together. And I had that one that I hit really good. It was a like dead straight. Right. And I was like, that was pure. <laughs> you know, carried about 182. But right. otherwise, yeah, it, it was good. Okay. okay. Well, if you like the forgiveness of that, last one up, Titleist T100. Okay. Probably going to be a little bit more on the forgiving side for us here. On the right side of the fairway. <laughs> forgiving. That spin rate. Plus or minus nine. That felt good. Ooh, a little less spin. Okay, so we just completed the test with all six heads. Talk to me about the last one hit here, the T100. I feel like of all the shots that I hit, these shots didn't hit in the middle of the face as often. Okay. But I feel like I got away with it more. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And probably went my best swings to finish off the test. 
feel like I had one on the heel, one on the toe. Okay. Um, but I feel like I got away with my miss hits more than I would out of a couple of the smaller models. Gotcha. So yeah. would this be kind of the most forgiving of the set? I would say this and JPX 921 Tour would probably be the most forgiving gotcha. of the set. Okay. Probably the largest looking down at as well of the set too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see kind of how we did numbers wise. Again, we're kind of right back in the middle right now. Uh, club speed, well done. Ball speed wise, pretty similar across the board there. Launch angle, again, pretty similar you know, to the P7MB in terms of launch. Spin, pretty darn consistent there again. But to kind of wrap things up, spin wise, Taylor Mater was still on top there. Uh, nothing 48. came close, really. No. I mean, that it was the only one, well, actually, there was one other one that was under, that was 87 tour. with the 921 tour. Yep. Yep. But yeah, that was that's been consistently. I don't think I'm ever going to hit five shots, but it's going to be less than 50. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable there. Yeah. I mean, anything else from a numbers perspective jump out at you? Lowest was the 117 from Callaway Apex and B. And then we also yep. have tight list as well was 117 as well. Yep. Um, yep. And then there was a couple that were flying a little higher. We talked about the, the ping, yeah. the I-59 flew just a little bit higher. And I think it's right. got a similar kind of DNA as the I-210. Sure. One thing we noticed with that model is that it usually flies a little higher overall. Right. Yeah. It's just in a smaller package. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So looking at dispersion-wise, we know TaylorMade was the most consistent so far today. Um, but overall, in terms of forgiveness, we're seeing a lot of positives with each model. I mean, yes, they're blades, yes, they're intimidating, but you can still get away with some shots more right. out there. So. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna get like a flyer right or a flyer right. left. It's going right. to do the same thing every single time, providing you don't hit it fat or, or thin. But, you know, we're talking here 170, 174 to 182 was my carry distance on mm -hmm. all of these 30 shots, right. which is very, very good. And yeah. that's regardless of what model that I was hitting. So yeah. I had that distance covered. I knew I talked about 178 to 180 being my mm -hmm. average carry distance. I think that's what it pretty much was with all right. of them, with right. the exception of the TaylorMade, mm -hmm. just because I'm not used to seeing that much spin on the iron. Right. The only my spin is 5,700. Okay. We noticed that was close to 6,000 RPMs. Yeah. yeah, a yeah. little bit more. Yeah. But overall, was there one iron that you gravitated more towards? Uh, that's, a, that's a tough question. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty impressed with that TaylorMade. Mm -hmm. Even though it was, I mean, me chasing spin, I, yeah. I, I loved that. I don't think I was going to get much more ball speed out of it, but you don't need ball speed. You just need consistency. Right. At the end of the day, dispersion and consistency mm -hmm. is what matters with your irons. Yeah. And that stood out to me. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was really good. And then, okay. you know, you've got other blades that were pure to look at and pure mm -hmm. to feel. Sure. Um, like Callaway Apex MB, the, the Mizuno uh, mm -hmm. Pro um, 221. Mm -hmm. Those two were really good to look down at. Okay. I'm trying to think if I'm missing out anything here. Um, I liked the I liked the results of the ping, like just just yeah. the fact that I know I'm gonna hit it higher. Right. If you if you've got a golfer coming in that needs height, mm -hmm. but wants to uh, a little bit more traditional looking iron. Yeah. I think that's gonna sure. be up there as well. But awesome. They're they're all good. They they all look visually different. Mm -hmm. They all feel. I mean, they're all forged, so they're all gonna feel pretty pretty soft. Right. Mizuno. I yeah. They're just. <laughs> They just know. world class when it comes to the feel of the face. Okay. They do an excellent job, but the others I'm I'm bad. I mean, I I could play any one of these six models and I would be very happy with the results. Okay. They were doing the same thing every single time. And that's all that, that I care about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So overall, th Thomas, again, thanks for donating the time and the swings. You know, very very good results. It shows that blades can be hit. They're not as tim intimidating as what you might think. But guys, take a look at the numbers. Are you a guy that demands hitting the green every single time? Demands workability. That these six options might be good to come in and test at your second swing fitting.